Hello, all my over 50s, and I know it's been a few weeks, but yes, I am still here. So this program is really cool because I hope all of you eventually get to do this, and that's moving up to a bigger airplane. Recently, I moved up from my Cardinal 177 to a Cessna P210, and this airplane is a big difference from my little Cardinal. Now, all of us know that we just don't hop in an airplane and go flying, even if you're going from a Cessna 177 to a 172 or from a 150 to a 172. It's a different aircraft. But jumping up from a 177 to a P210 is a unique experience. The, the 210 is really a serious aircraft. So what is different about it? Well, listen to the checklist on this plane. And just to let you know, the checklist is almost an inch thick. And that includes all the emergency procedures and everything. But there is a lot to this airplane. Yay. Pre-flight complete emergency exit is you're going to lower that. Seats are good. Cabin yeah. door is closed and locked. Uh, open a window is window is open. Control wheel lock is removed. Brakes are test and set. Cowl flaps are open. Avionics power switch is off. Landing gear lever is down. Master switch is on master switch is on landing gear lights cabin pressure light is good fuel selector valve is keep it on the right tank just for grins all right fuel selector valve cabin pressurization is in dump valve is in cabin pressurization on cabin altitude selector is set we're going to set it at 7.5 for now um, starting engine Mixture is full rich, propeller is on high, throttle is closed, auxiliary fuel pump is on. Advance to 50, 60, one, two, three, four, five. Auxiliary fuel is off. Clear, engine start. Flight controls are free, clear, correct? You good? Yeah, yeah. Okay, lock your door. Oh, that's right, that's right. You, you got it. Okay. okay. Sounds good, that's real. Okay, Kyle Flaps are open, flight control, uh, free, clear, and correct. Flight instruments are checked, so we are good. We have the altimeter set. Uh, let's get this set on runway heading, which is 05 here. Get that on 05. All right, fuel selector valve is on the fullest tank. Auxiliary fuel pump is off. Mixture is rich. How are our temperatures? Looking good. All right. And rudder and elevator trim. We're just going to zero that out and. Several traffic. Oh, that. Can't see. There we go. Final runway five. Touch and go. There we go. Okay. All right. Honey, I got you on site now. You're off on those. Okay, elevator trim and rudder trimmer is good. The throttle's going up to 1700. All right, 1700, and we've got a good drop in our right mag. Got the super back up to both. Got a good drop in our left mag. That is good. Propeller, cycle the prop. We got a rise of manifold to drop in RPM. Rise of manifold to drop in RPM. And then we check to make sure that there's no oil. Engine instruments and ammeter are good, and suction gauge is good. Throttle back down to 1,000. Okay, radios are set. We've got 19.9 here, over here. We've got the weather here. We've got the weather at Inverness over there. Air conditioner is off. Strobe lights are good. Taxi light is coming off. Door is locked. Cabin pressurization controls are checked. All right, cabin pressurization on. Altimeter, alt cabin altitude is set. Uh, cabin door is closed and locked. Cabin open window. Cabin door safety lock is unlocked. That throttle friction lock is adjust. Parking brake is released, and we are going to go. Normal takeoff, 10 degrees. We'll fly runway heading and then head up towards Inverness. Good. Check. Now, this plane has a ton of power, so taking off is actually fun. She jumps off the start like a jackrabbit, but you have to stand on that right rudder pedal because this engine produces a ton of torque. 
Okay, that glider is there, see him? Not yet. Um, you got him, though. Oh, I got him. Yep, yeah. I got him. Okay, you ready? Ready to roll. Alright, here we go. This airplane climbs like crazy. When we were leaving Merritt Island, um, it was really busy. So I took a right turn directly after takeoff to get out of all the traffic, but I was unfamiliar with the area and the Delta around Merritt Island is Patrick Air Force Base. And I was right there. So I turned directly into it and I had to immediately climb from 700 feet to 2,500 feet. So just check this out because this plane took off like a rocket. And I do apologize for the audio. There was a camera switch in the middle here and the audio settings weren't set. Um, so I do apologize that it got all whacked out. Uh, Merritt Island uh, traffic banner, pick up, banner tower Delta Vic final one one traffic. Hey, you got to get up to 2,500 feet like right now. I do? Yep. Wow, well, clear. Got to go into uh, Patrick Air Force Base. Oh, you might want to turn left. Now landing this plane is a whole different experience because this plane does not want to slow down. Um, it'll cruise anywhere between 165 and 185 knots. And again, it just doesn't want to slow down. So you really have to be 12 steps ahead of this airplane at all times. And you also have to watch the temperatures on this engine because you have to cool it down in stages. You don't want to shock cool it, and that's actually very easy to do in this, uh, in this airplane. So you want to start slowing down way out there. And there's a whole different technique to it, and that's where the training came in really handy because it, it, it's not that it's counterintuitive, but it just doesn't act or handle like a 172, and it doesn't slow down when you pull out the power. Now landing is the easy part, provided you nail your speeds down. You want to do your final approach at 90 and you want to touch down between 80 and 85 knots. The good part about this is when you get that gear down, that slows the plane down and you can get that gear down anywhere below 165 knots. So during the initial training that I had, um, we ran it through a bunch of emergency procedures and that was really comforting to know that really at any speed below 165 that gear can come down and that will slow the plane down. When this plane is on final, 
it is stable, provided your approach is stable. And you could fly this plane right down to the runway. You want to pull your power back slowly and raise the nose. And instead of like some airplanes, like the 172 or 177, they'll bounce off a ground effect. The 210 will really sink into that ground effect. And she just kind of sits there and lands very easily. Uh, whiskey, whiskey, what altitude and who's the pilot? Okay, guess right, 4,000. Thank you, Mike. So I hope all of you one day will move up into a bigger airplane and go through this experience. It's really exciting for me and I absolutely love this plane. And this plane is gonna fulfill this mission perfectly. So I'm looking forward to doing my first couple of hundred hours. Look, thanks for watching, thanks for staying with me. Click like, click subscribe on the channel and please feel free to reach out um, if you have any questions or anything like that. Send me a note, be more than happy to talk to you guys. And if you are over 50, you know what to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>